Well, South Africans continue to fret over the monthly adjustments to fuel prices. In the midst of the cost of living crisis, Treasury has decided not to increase the general fuel levy this year. Godongwana says the decision will put back about 4 billion rand into the pockets of cash-strapped consumers. The carbon fuel levy will increase, not the fuel levy, the carbon fuel levy will increase to 11 cents per litre of petrol and 14 cents per litre for diesel, effective from the 3rd of April. A discussion paper outlining proposal for the second phase of the carbon tax will be published for public comment later in the year. Madam Speaker, we are mindful of the already high cost of living, the impact and the impact fuel prices I have on the food and, and transport costs. In this regard, we are not proposing, we are proposing no increases to the general fuel levy for 24-25. This will result in a tax release of around $4 billion. This is money back in the pocket of consumers. All right, social grants are going up uh, basically in line with inflation, increasing by at least 100 rand for pensioners, 50 rand for foster care, and 20 rand for child support. To keep pace with inflation and increase, uh, increase access, Permanent social grants are increased. Let me just pause and say, when the Abanga be completing the two one woman talkers and a woman, a little in the compound, a walking stick. What you want? Kafuka and Enos New Zealand get twenty rand. So I want to assure Lakoko, Ogut, Una, the generous, and the New Zealand get twenty rand. We are giving them an increase of hundred rand to the old age grant. Water, but water, water, disability care and grants. This will be split in 90 rand effective from April and 10 effective from October. 50 rand increase for the foster care and 20 rand increase to the child support grant. Order. We are Order, sensitive members. to the Order. increase in the cost of living for nearly. 19 million South Africans who are really rely on these grants to make ends meet.